237. Welcome to another vlog. So I finished another washcloth. Uh, there was a time lapse of that. I'm going to show you after this clip. But before I show you that, I'm going to show you how my first bandana turned out. I followed um, Kelsey's tutorial somewhat. Uh, I did change a little thing right here because I couldn't figure out how to do the Pico thing that she was talking about. And also my stitches just weren't matching up with hers. So, but anyway, I think I'm going to kind of make it my own a little bit because I like this sort of curvy at the end tip rather than this look personally. So uh, I followed her, her exact instructions on this one and then I altered it slightly on this one. So I think I'm just gonna do this one from now on because I think this looks better. So, um, there's that. I I'm not going to be selling this one because, as you can see, one of the strings is, or straps, is longer than the other, and I just don't like that. It doesn't look good for market. This one is definitely better, though it's a bit stiffer, so I am... I'm going to be using the 5.75 millimeter hook from now on to make bandanas. So uh, there, that's that. And uh, to the time lapse of the washcloth that I've already made. So see you in a bit. Cause I've been living life right like I could just die any minute. Don't pull right down the side. PCH got your limit. I don't need a guide. Follow lights. Take me where I want to visit. Are you alive? Are you just breathing? Cause I've been living life right like I could just die any minute. Don't pull right down the side. PCH got your limit. I don't need a guide. Follow lights. Take me where I want to visit. Are you alive? Red lights, driving at night, windowless ride, feeling alive, nothing in sight, forever in flight, follow those lines, we'll make it this time, blurry street lights, work as a guide to memories that we're making tonight. Good evening, my fab viewers 237. So, uh, it's been a bit of a day. Uh, I've been busy. I've been working on a washcloth. I, I finished the bandana that I was working on previously. It is now currently in the basket, and I'm going to try to sell some of those at Athfest. And right now, I'm enjoying some fresh sorbet that I just made. And I have to say, this is better than the strawberry one, even so. Uh, the strawberry was great, but I think this is my favorite flavor that I've made so far. This is... And the, you wouldn't think to mix these two fruits together, but it makes a pretty good combo. Uh, this is a, a peach and kiwi sorbet. So, um, there you go. Uh, if you guys want to see it, I can definitely do this on camera now that I know how to do it. Better. This the consistency is a lot better than it was the last time. I had to make a new batch because the strawberry one unfortunately got freezer burnt due to a freezer malfunction. It basically I had it in the inside freezer and it kept freezing and unfreezing and it went bad. So this one I've stuck it in the outside fridge used a larger container to freeze it in and I stuck it out there with our other ice cream so that hopefully it stays frozen when it needs to be frozen so we shall see but for now I'm gonna go enjoy this and watch some YouTube and I will see you guys tomorrow bye for now <laughs>
evening, my fabulous Chan June 37. Welcome to another vlog clip. So, uh, yeah, it's Saturday. So, last day for the vlog for this week. And I did get a couple of things at Hobby Lobby today. So, I am have been frequently leaving my small scissors at home when I'm crocheting on the go, which is actually quite a lot because I work a lot now that I have this new job and I've been busy with other things as well because I've had to do clothes shopping for new work clothes and stuff so I got an extra pair of just small scissors yeah I think yeah these are the Singer brand and these are the cheapest pair of small scissors that they have at my local Hobby Lobby. So that's what I got. And then I ha previously only had one yarn needle and I'm frequently losing it. So I got a pack of four extra yarn needles in this mint or muted green color. So my other one's yellow. So I'll try these out when it's time to weave in the ends for the scrunchie that I'm working on. Now, the eye of this one is not near as long as my yellow one, but in theory, this should work just as well. This is the scrunchie I'm working on. It's going to be, obviously, I'm starting with the purple and then I'm going to color change to teal and then have it be purple again on the outside. So that's what I'm doing with this. And here's a bandana that I just finished today. It's meant to be a rainbow. It's not exactly in rainbow order, but... My goal here was to have all the colors of the rainbow on this project, and I th I've definitely achieved that, even though this last row here, because of the edging, is just, it's kind of odd, because there's, yes, all the colors are there, but it's got this green bit here, and then where it has purple, it's like blue and purple split, so, yeah. I like it, it's cute, but the color change thing is a little odd. And anyway, that is all I have for today. And um, if you liked this video, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And also, if you want, you can check out my links in the description or by scanning the QR code at the end of this video. Thank you for watching, and above all else, stay fabulous. Bye! Living life every day, late at night, not okay. All I want and I pray, all I need are some better days.